A first round draft pick by the Washington Capitals in 1990, John Slaney became one of the AHL's premier offensive defensemen over his career. Slaney came to the American Hockey League in 1992 and picked up a goal and an assist in his professional debut, a sure sign of things to come. With the Baltimore Skipjacks in 1992-93, Slaney set league records for goals, 20, and points, 66, in a season by a rookie defenseman. Over the next several years, Slaney would spend the majority of his time playing in the NHL. He signed with Pittsburgh in 1999 and joined the expansion Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins where he had a career year, playing both defense and forward. Slaney led the team with 30 goals and 60 points in just 49 games while quickly becoming a fan favorite. On the eve of the 2001 AHL All-Star Classic in Wilkes-Barre, Slaney was traded to the Philadelphia Flyers. The Penguins' departing captain took one last bow in front of the home crowd and earned All-Star Game MVP honors. By season's end, Slaney had racked up 67 points in 65 games and was voted the winner of the Eddie Shore Award as the AHL's top defenseman. Slaney was named a team captain for the 2002 AHL All-Star Classic held in his native St. John's and went on to capture the Eddie Shore Award again, becoming just the third player ever to win it in back-to-back -back years. He was a second team AHL All-Star in 2004 and he helped the Philadelphia Phantoms to the 2005 Calder Cup title. I'd like to congratulate John Slaney on his well-deserved induction to the American Hockey League Hall of Fame. Johnny's numbers speak for themselves, just how great a player he was. The thing that impressed me the most is his willingness as an older player to change his game for the good of the team. Johnny's always been a great offensive player, but he became a great player on both sides of the puck. He learned to manage his risks, whether you're on a power play or penalty killing, you wanted Johnny on the ice. If your team was down a goal, you want him on the ice, but if your team was up a goal, shutting the game down, he also wanted Johnny on the ice. I always tell my kids to make a difference when they play, and Johnny was truly a difference maker. He had a huge impact on our championship team 05, and he was a big reason that we won. On January 21, 2007, Slaney became the first defenseman in AHL history to reach 500 career points. And at the time of his last AHL game, his total of 166 goals, 353 assists and 519 points were all-time records for an AHL defenseman. I just want to give a nice message to my old teammate and friend John Slaney. Congratulations for being inducted to the AHL Hall of Fame. Uh, two things that stand out when I think of you, Slanes. First of all, how well you played in the 2005 Calder Cup playoffs uh, with your broken bones in your hand. It's amazing to see you uh, even on the ice, let alone how well you played. And secondly, I remember as a young player, you always looking out for me as a, as a captain, as a leader, and uh, really teaching me the ropes of professional hockey. So again, congratulations and best of luck in your future.